Hello, welcome to the Sunday Gardener. Today we're looking in this short video at another step that you need to take when growing tomatoes. Tomatoes are a really vigorous, fast growing plant. And what you aim to achieve is, is, is one upright on the tomato. And what happens is that they grow side shoots where the stem and branch meet. And these side shoots need to be removed. Otherwise they'll grow lots of side shoots, put all the energy into plant growth and we want to concentrate it into producing flowers and fruit, the tomatoes. So we're just going to look in close up at the side shoots and what you need to do to remove them. It's here you can see in close up the side shoot that I'm talking about and another one here. They're very small, you can nip them out with your fingers but if you do that you might end up with in fact very green fingers because there's a lot of them so it's better just to snip them out with a pair of pruners okay. 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 wherever you see these sharp side shoots you need to snip them off and they will grow regularly on the plant all through the summer keep removing them as it's essential part of getting a good crop and here the tomatoes just started to produce the first flowers and that's a, a good sign and also a sign to start feeding it. Don't overfeed tomatoes in these initial early stages just feeding them once a week and then increasing the feed as the tomato plant grows and it develops more and more flowers. The other thing to bear in mind is that this tomato is now too big for its pot. It's grown on from when it was potted up earlier on and it's ready to be put into a large pot where it will spend the rest of the summer whilst it's producing the tomatoes. There are a lot of different ways you can grow tomatoes. You can put them into grow bags, large troughs, large pots. Sometimes um, you can grow them outside if you've got a warm sheltered spot. I'm going to grow them in the greenhouse because my garden isn't very sheltered and that's the best way to get a good crop. And I'm going to put them into large individual pots. But you can grow them in grow bags and you can grow them outside. It's really a matter for what space you have. But we're going to look at growing them on in large pots now.